welcome this is the energy vibration um, reading for um, the third quarter okay wonderful 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 okay the energy of the third quarter is a very very positive energy because it is the energy of fire now the third quarter um, is going to be one of a lot of different energies a lot of changes is coming up in the third quarter okay so be aware of this um, these changes okay third quarter is a fire um, quarter but a lot of changes the number five we have five we have 14 and we have um, 15 which is the energy of also a fire energy and it depends because it can help you or it can enter you okay so it depends on what energy vibration um, you're working on and if you're a fire sign it will basically help you if you have fire in your zodiac uh, in your birth chart if you have fire sign in your birth chart then it will help you but if it's uh, um, working against you then you have to be aware of the month of July August September okay so September is a month that everyone have to be alert um, September is going to be calling up for alerts coming in for a lot of people in September especially if you are not vibrating with the fire sign energy okay um this third quarter begins from july august and september so um ladies and gentlemen let's look at the energy vibration i am trying to hold um the quarter energies um you know less but depends on what comes out when we are going to um be vibrating at a higher energy vibration so we need to be positive and we need to be very positive about this okay the energy and this is one of the most beautiful card decks um, I'm hoping that it becomes the card deck of 2018 because this is just a beautiful card deck this is the energy of the chariot and it is the energy of the fountain of illumination to card deck okay the energy vibration for this um, third quarter of the year the month of July August and September we have the energy of the fire energies and if you guys re realize what is happening it is basically that what is happening in um, this year 2018 is a lot of changes but positive changes changes where um, people are overcoming difficulties and obstacles and that sort of a thing and it is actually very positive and very good because um, we are overcoming things in our lives and this is looking positive for a lot of us and this is going to be good Five people, it's or people who has um, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, or obsolete people. It's going to be a positive month for you guys because there's a lot of luck that is going to be coming in via the energy of the chariots and the energy of um, the de the devil in the month of September. September is a, it is always a weird month and you have to be aware of this and align yourself with the energies of September because September is always very much a weird month okay um, and I um, what I always do is um, I um, look at the energies that are that, that are happening because number seven is a very very good um, number to have and and to use um, Number seven is, is, is a very positive in the sense that sevens are um, where we um, find balance in her lives and that sort of a thing. If you're on a, a seven life part, it is always a type of, of spirituality and that sort of a thing, and that sort of a form. But um, the energy of seven is always um, very positive. It's always overcoming obstacles and that sort of a situation. Um, um, some of you could be um, very sensitive in this quarter and being very dis um, um, withdrawal and that sort of a thing um, but um, the energy vibration of the number seven always represent in a different form mystery serious independence intel intelligence wisdom wise and spirituality because seven is seven and nine three seven and nine is always about spirituality okay so if you're working on a seven vibration of a three vibration of a nine vibration that is spirituality um, this quarter is going to be a quarter of granting 
um, 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 secrets secret knowledge will be granted to the people who are working on the spiritual part and and um, some of you are going to be understanding the secrets of the universe and understanding spirituality some of the most positive traits that are represented represent of the sevens is always uh, analytic, uh, physiology, um, lucky, private people are who uh, vibrates with the seven energy is always private. They're always perfectionists. Um, they're always contemplative and a bit of a dreamer at times because it's the number seven. Okay. Um. Um. Uh, when they're working on the negative when the, the seven energy or frequency is on the negative side is that you're very skeptic about everything and everyone around you so be aware of this you can be clingy also and you can be very arrogant and um, small-mindedness and even um, narcissistic okay so be aware of um, the situation that is coming up for you So let's see what's basically is going to be happening for you guys, okay? Um, as I um, I visualize this, there's um, there is a lot of um, balancing justice in that sort of a situation that will be coming up into this period. It's as if um, the months, because there's three different months: July, August, and September. So there is going to be actually, um, you know, like a very, very um, unusual um, situations that is going to be taking place. And, you know, basically it's, it's going to be um, a month of, uh, and, and, you know, a lot of um, situations that will occur. And basically um, there's a lot of changes because you're coming on until the, the end of the year. So there's going to be a lot of changes. I'm seeing a lot of new situations coming up for a lot of people, but yet still a lot of justice balances that is coming out. I'm seeing a lot of tower energies, which we have not seen in the last couple of months because each and every year carries a different energy vibration. I'm seeing a lot of endings with the energy of the tower, which um, it is healing. I'm seeing a lot of justice. I'm seeing a lot of new growths. I'm seeing ending to situations, a new beginning. I'm seeing people coming together and working together, which is very positive and very good. Um, the energy of the devil is really in the um, in September, so we um, that is lower energies and that sort of a thing. So be aware. Um, a lot of judgment a lot of information is going to be coming out in September's I'm seeing a lot of judgment a lot of information coming out in September so be aware of this and be on your guards um, around this sort of a situation because I'm seeing um, these sort of a situation come coming out now um, the intuition in the month of July is going to be very high where people need to listen to their intuition but also the energy of just endings um, just endings things coming to an end just um, very fast and, and and new things are happening so it's endings and then new things endings and then new things and very in in, in very positive way as we move along and um, we understand the process now um, the energy of balance comes up and the energy of balance is going to be in the month of August a lot of people need to find inner balance but also in August there is going to be a lot of blessings um, that is coming in a lot of blessings that is coming in in the month of August because what you're going to be seeing and what you're going to be realizing is that these blessings are actually balancing so lawsuits and that sort of a thing um, divorces will be final and that sort of a thing so um, here we need to see and look at this um, in a positive positive light okay so we're going to go through and um, then I'm going to go to love and money at the end um, relationships love and money at the end um, so let's um, take a look and see um, what do we have to deal with in this month okay as we look at the month of um, uh, as we look at the month of uh, July um, there's a lot of situation that is happening with organization and that sort of a thing okay so month of July 
organizations is coming up okay so um, there's a lot of people and this is a month where a lot of people travel so um, expect that in July August August you have balance temperance and balance and this is when people go on vacation um, people are trying to have you know like oh, um, a rest in time and then in the month of September you have the energy of the devil okay I'm going to change the name to um, the lower energies okay I don't like the name of it. It's, it. It sounds so. It's just the lower energies. Just that we have um, a positive energy and lower energies. Okay. So let's see um, what is going to be happening between um, July and August. So what is going to be happening between July and August um, 2018? We have the energy of the Four of Swords. So obviously, it is a vacation period, and some people are going to be resting. And this is going to be very good because what is going to be happening is that there is going to be coming a balance in your life and this is going to be a very uh, good positive balance let's see what is going to be happening between August and September 2018 the energy of the stars so isn't this wonderful yes um, the energy of the stars so thank God because I was a little bit worried about um, moving in from August to September but the energy of the star is here so um, there could be a universal healing or there could be an healing that is just my AD <laughs> yes 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 I love AD so um, so as I was saying before my little cools from out AD is here um, uh, um, I, um, the, yeah the energy of the star and I, I really really like the energy of the star because it's a powerful energy it's a wonderful energy it's um, an energy that is coming up and um, this is good so we're asking the angels and guides to show us what will be the messages the outcomes of the third period of the year 2018 what is going to be the outcome of the third period uh, we have the energy of the nine of cups so this is beautiful this is beautiful this is beautiful so ladies and gentlemen the outcome of this period which is just so very wonderful and so very good is that we have the energy of the chariot whenever we have the energy of the chariot what happened is that we basically um, a, you know ending situation we're overcoming certain things and certain obstacles in our life and we are trying to make um, situation possible and very good for each and every person okay energy of the chariot is always fantastic it's always a fire energy and you're coming out on top so some of your wishes and dreams will be coming true which is uh, so um, very clear in the um, this process of this reading that this is what is going to be happening because you can see the situation of whoever has to deal with organizations group of people and that sort of a situation um, it could be some people are finding themselves in the hospital which is not a very nice thing but maybe it is good because then maybe if you were uh, dealing with a situation in your life at the end of um, the month you'll be feeling much better and you'll be aware of what was happening to you and this is going to be good okay for some people whatever the situation that has been occurring in your life for whatever reason um, where situation has gone away and that sort of a situation you are going to be seen um, now positive if you have been hoping wishing for things to happen in the third period this is going to be all coming together and you are going to be very um, happy with the outcomes of this third period okay as we look um, for some other uh, groups and um, from for, for some other groups we have the energy of uh, fire fire with hair and with um water emotion but this is good emotions because we have um the energy of um you balance out in your um, emotional uh, situation or you are trying to balance out situations in your life and that sort of a thing and then what is going to basically happen is that, i'm sorry what is going to basically happen is that um the outcomes is going to be good because whatever that has gone array in your life um, now is their balance coming in and I love this um, period because there is a lot of uh, there's a lot of uh, hair but um, there's also the hurt the hurt and the fire 
and this is good and the outcomes is um, in a positive way so this is going to be very very positive what I can say for um, the Taurus is in the first month for the Taurus is the Capricorn and the Virgos for in the first month is going to be um, you know very wonderful in um, in the sense that good things the first and second month because this period is a period of balance because you have two Earths and one fire sign so this is a period of balance basically because you're coming towards the end of the year which is very good if some of you were having situation it would organization and that sort of a thing um, and, um, whatever you were wishing and hoping for the best it's going to be coming out um, as we look for people who have been trying to balance out their emotion but yet still their material world but yet still dealing with people and situation it's going to be coming out good your wishes and dreams are going to be coming true um, as we look for people who have been dealing with um, groups of people who were very negative who were very against you and that sort of a thing um, what is going to be happening is that uh, you are going to be able to deal with that situation and then the outcomes is going to be the energy of um, you know your wishes and dreams are coming true and the stars are going to be aligning you with these uh, situations so if you are a Virgo Taurus of Virgo and Taurus people are going to be very prosperous and Aries in the month of September so Virgos and the Taurus people in this third quarter is going to be very very much so prosperous but also the Leos the Leos and the Sagittarians are going to be very much um, prosperous because you're seeing the energies the the Aries are going to be um, coming out in the month of September and you're going to be okay in the month of September your wishes and dreams are going to be coming out for you Aries okay um, it's going to be wonderful September is also for the Virgos and um, the Virgos and the Libras are for September so um, you know that is going to be they are their year is about to begin and their year is going to be um, positive now for the Taurus and the Virgos for the Taurus and the Virgos you need to take some rest between July and August so um, for the people who can go on vacation it would be um, very good to do that because um, it's it's um, it's going to be um, positive for you um, to go on vacation okay all right um what is going to be happening for the people with love um, um, some of you are going to be asked the ends of marriage um, could be in the month of um, August um, that is yeah it could be in the month of August or it could be um, September okay so some of you are going to be asked the ends of marriage it could be in the month of August and it could be in the month of September okay so um, that is also good um, for you guys uh, um, to hear very good very excellent um and and, and, and positive um so if you are a single who is looking for a relationship if you are a single who is looking for a relationship um in this um um year um it is going to be that if you ask the universe to line you up with your a soulmate and twin flame this could be happening for you guys okay it's not about um, third quarter it's really not about third quarter it's going to be um, a very um, positive third quarter so this is going to be good okay um, business is um, if you are about to start your business go ahead and do that whatever you are about to start in the third quarter go ahead and do it because it's going to be a success okay so whatever you are about to um, begin in the first quarter go ahead and do it because it's going to be successful now we're going to look at what other energies are coming out and here we have the gold and silver violet flame so 
Um, I'm using the Ascension deck um, in this third quarter because this is um, a wonderful deck um, to use. So um, we have uh, the gold and silver violet flame. So um, you guys can use this energy um, and um, it is an energy what to help people if you ask to place the gold and silver violet flame over you all that is negative or whatever negative energies this is coming at you it will diffuse it it will diffuse it okay so you can say I am in total um, balance and harmony because um, the golden silver violet flame brings you in total balance and harmony and this is in a very very positive positive energy okay it balances out your wisdom and power and it, the giving and receiving um, and your connection with all our hearts and the seventh dimension so this is actually good for the people who are vibrating in the fourth and fifth dimension but also for the people who are transiting out of the third into the fourth and from the fourth until the um, the fifth okay now um, the message that we have why do I want the relationship I want okay so um, some of you are going to start questioning yourself about relationship in this quarter why um, do you want the relationship you want these are questions that you need to answer for yourself and it is a time that you um, especially for the singles and the people who are looking for relationship and the people who are always in negative relationships and attracting the wrong people to you it's the time that you're going to be asking yourself why is it and you write the answers down because you are going to be um, needing um, to know for yourself why okay I love this deck this is one of my favorite decks and this is a message from the universe the universe have your back and it says instead of praying for an outcome I pray for the highest good of all okay so instead of you praying oh Lord I want this or I want that or I want a positive outcome or something like that then you should just pray um, for the highest good for all just pray for the highest good for all okay so this was the general readings for um this was the general readings for um, the third quarter of the year 2018 and I want to say to you please like share these videos um, and um, remember to listen to your um, sun and moon and rising sign and I will speak to you next month